Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. We have so much fun stuff happening this week, and I can't believe it's only Tuesday. Good morning, guys. So weird to be out here with these blinds closed because we're not used to that. Usually there's a lot of light out here. Anyway, we're outside checking on Bailey Bird. Today is the last day he's gonna remain in this cage. Hopefully I will be able to get him back every night and put him back in at night. Good morning guys. Birds eat from dawn till dusk usually and then they go to sleep. I fed Bailey an egg and some grapes this morning and grapes you guys probably already know is poisonous to dogs and one of his little grapes fell through his cage. Get away Cookie. And one of our dogs could have eaten. Good call Sophie, good catch. All right, Bailey, I'm not feeding you anymore. You're a book, shoot. You're a big boy. I'm gonna clean your cage right now. I made a list today of things that I wanted to talk about because I keep forgetting if somebody wanted an update on the corn worms. So what um, happened? What happened with the corn worms? After we vlogged it, we lived it, um, Bailey ate them. <laughs> Billy did not eat our corn worms. They went into a cocoon. Oh, no. I thought they were talk you were talking about the things. So what happened to the corn worms? They died. Yeah, they went into a cocoon and we were so excited and then they just died. It took them a long time and they just died. And so I looked into it, I read up on it and basically it said maybe um, the food that they ate before they went into a cocoon wasn't enough to sustain them and that could be it because we gave them the food that they came with which was awesome but then the day before they started to go into a cocoon all that food was gone and you can't we couldn't buy it and so we gave them just the other food that it said that you could give them and so maybe that one day was enough I don't know but anyway they died they're gone the girls have been fighting you guys might have noticed that they usually get along really really well um, for sisters it's true they really do but today they've been staying up late not getting enough sleep that's a part of our summer and I swear they have been just fighting all day so they're in their room trying to figure it out and compromise and figure out how they're gonna get along better but I wanted to show you something disgusting if you're squeamish look away now Gabby's mosquito bites it doesn't even look as bad I think they're infected can you guys see how it's all like scaly and how it's like, spreading? It be like, like lots of times like dot 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 dot. Yeah, like you gotta learn to smack them when they land. So it's only the one side. They're gross! You smacked them before in the air. Yeah, yeah. So basically, if she, if a mosquito is near her and it bites her, she just runs from it because she does not like I to smush them. Run. Yeah, she screams and runs. Just wait. I'm gonna show them the rest. Okay, so. That side is so bad. I'm gonna have to put some medicated cream on there. I've been trying different stuff. And let's see. So then this arm is this a little is a bit. Bite. She's got a few. Like, a few she, are like actually. She just scratches them to death. And then this arm has just a few. And then this leg just has a few. So but I think. It's only on my left side. Yeah, I think what's or happened like, is that it's turned into something else no, now. So I think she had just a few uh, mosquito bites and then uh, she scratched them and now it's some kind of infection. So I'm gonna go and get mosquitoes some cream. Mosquitoes don't wake me as much. Yeah, Sophie and I, they bite us and we're like, hey, don't bite us again. We don't care. Do you smack them? No. Your she kids don't stuff. smack them. No, but do you smack the bug when it lands on you? No. Yeah, guys, I rushed home and we're at the doctor's office because Gabby's got this big, Humongous growth on her leg. What's going on in your leg, man? Let's see. Oh my gosh. That wasn't like that last night. You must have been scratching all night. No, they turn red after a while. Yeah, after they scratching. They turn red around. After scratching no, forever. Last night I didn't scratch that. That looks really bad today. We're in the doctor's office and Gabby has the cooties. Nice. Got the cooties. Okay. You have the cooties. You. Oh no. Yeah, so I had to rush. I had to rush home from work so I could take Gabby to the appointment. It's the only appointment we could get because my doctor's he's on holidays after today afternoon. After 12 o'clock today. He's on holidays so we had to rush in for this appointment. The rain. 
stuck in the rain. So did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? Look at that prescription. It says here, it says here on this prescription, cootie ointment. Cooties. <laughs> we have cooties. Look at that. Look at the water. It's like raining. Look at that. Like the okay. One. I know I can get to the car. No, I can. My door's right there. I can. You don't have to run around. I can. Are you going to brave it? Are you brave it or what? I went out there because there's a roof. There's a roof, but it's not helping. Look at all the water. Okay, we're going to turn the camera off so it doesn't get wet. We're going to go. I'm going to climb on your side. What do you no, say? You I'll go see. first. See how wet you get. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh, it's windy out there, too. This is dangerous. Look, I can't even see out my window. It's Nothing's cold. unfogging. Everything's. Oh, it's unfogging now. It's like a torrential downpour and we're headed to the get the prescriptions so we're at the drugstore and our drugstore is at walmart that's where i keep my drugs it's easier that way that way i can shop while i wait for our prescriptions anyways 90 dollars for gabby's prescriptions and because it's lunchtime we're gonna go have lunch the only place to have lunch here is a McDonald's. So I don't really like McDonald's, but I guess we're gonna have a bur quick burger. Right? You love McDonald's? Yuck. Yeah. We're gonna eat that before your sister sees. <laughs> Thanks for rushing home to take Gabby to the doctor. I hate playing with this. Couple hours off because, work. like, couple when, hours off work. When, um,. I you know like what it looks get like. Get rain on it, and then after you bend it. Yeah, because you scratched it to bits. Like, I'm holding the camera far, and you guys can still see it. Like, it like is after a while, gross. it just turns red. Yeah, because you scratch it. Yeah, so, what'd you get? Yeah, I don't scratch that anymore. How many prescriptions did you get? Yep, take them off. Um, so, for any of you guys who don't know, we hardly ever go to the doctor. We hardly ever get sick. Babies. Only Sophie goes. So this is Gabby's like first time, second time probably ever to the doctor. So what'd you got? What'd you get? Two cream. You got cream. And pills. And pills? What the heck? Wow, those are some big horse pills. They aren't big. I've had ones like this big. Can you take those? Sometimes if you scratch a rash and you have dirty fingernails and stuff, lots of bacteria will get on there and cause like a, a big problem. It's not going. <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Did it. Did it. All right. Did it. You can tell when it's about to storm because Bailey goes crazy. He's like, help, oh, help, it's about to rain on me. And he doesn't even know the half of it because if it's not bad weather tomorrow, I'm gonna release him. Did you wanna tell us that it's raining, handsome boy? We are getting a, the worst storm. It was thundering and lightning when Gabby and Sam were at the doctor and then it, it's like hours later now and it is pouring down. But I love thunderstorms, they're my thing pouring out there. I did not get the pool put away. I wanted to clean it, see it out there. And now it's getting cleaned naturally. One of our subscribers has been asking us to dye the girl's hair with Kool-Aid. We've actually done that before. I'm sure there's a many, many vlogs of us dyeing the girl's hair with Kool-Aid. Actually, I think we only did it once. But anyway, yeah, and it never really turns out for us, but we are ready to try again. It's summer now. We usually do it in the winter and the girl's hair is super blonde. Look at this. Like her hair is super blonde. Super messy though. I brushed mine. And Gabby's is as blonde as it ever gets. Actually they all they look really oh, close. This is blonde. Like I've never been that blonde. Yeah, oh no, you used to be blonde like Can that. I Turn have around. Ombre? Turn around, let's put your hair Can your I hair see together. My ombre? Gabby has an ombre. Okay. I like so, ombre. So can you guys see the difference in color? You can hardly even tell. They look exactly the same. Your hair is exactly the same color. No, mine's vital. So basically, it usually works for Gabby, or it usually works really well for Sophie, but not for Gabby. So this time, Gabby's actually gonna maybe get it to work. So Sophie's got two cups of water. 
Um, and you need two packages of Kool-Aid. You have two? What color are you doing? Pink. Okay, pink. Oh, grab the other one. Whoa. That, that looks red. Girls, am I getting a Is long? Is it red? Is it red? No, it's pink. No, it's pink. That looks red. Looks red. Oh. It kind of looks red, but it's going to be light, so it'll be pink. We're hoping pink shows up, Blonde huh? and colors work. Yeah. I Girls have been getting along so much better no. since they spent a little bit of time in their room today. Taste test. Okay, go ahead. Taste it. Taste it. It's going to be hot. No, it's not going to be hot. Try it. Taste it. Kool-Aid. Ew, sour. <laughs> you were thinking it would have sugar in it, right? What color did you choose, Gabby? Purple. Gabby chose purple. Okay, where's the stirring thing? Let me see. So we're just boiling it until it dissolves. All right. So you have to turn your hair. Let's get it all in there. I need like a, a fork or something, a spoon. Oh, it's hot. Gotta leave it all in there, so. All right. Can I get like a tall one, not a wide? Yeah, that's what we should do, huh? Yeah. What? It is gonna be purple. Okay, stick it in there. I can. Stick it right down in there. Beauty is never comfortable, is it? Beauty. It's be kind of comfy. Beauty hurts. So we decided to put them in these little cups so that we could just, yeah, hold them up to our body instead of having to lean down into a bowl. All right. This is what it looks like. They're like, oh, thank goodness it's not me now. Thank goodness it's not me getting dyed. I cannot Hello, babies. Do you guys see Toby's little minion diaper? <laughs> he's a little minion. Yeah, he's a little minion boy. He's probably smaller than the minions. This is my boy. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. Somebody said they liked all of our pets today. Look at his eyes. His eyeballs look like they're popping out of their head, out of his head. Okay, the girls are sitting here with their hair dipped in Kool-Aid. We have a 29. We have 29 minutes to go, and Sam does not wear glasses. Just for you guys that don't know, but you look those good are in those. Movie theater glasses. Fake movie theater glasses. Anyway. Um, that we have 29 more minutes to go, and we are gonna end today's vlog. 29? Guys, and you guys are gonna get to see the final product tomorrow. We have, but I have a really great comment today. It is from Anik. Oh my gosh, there's no way I'm gonna get this name right. Anik Cog. Koglinberg. Anik Koglinberg. She said that. The frog of the horse naturally sheds every three months. We had no idea. The frog of the horse naturally sheds every three months or so. This is not ideal, however, because it can cause micro tears and abscesses. Normally, your farrier will trim and shape the frog so that it doesn't tear off incorrectly. Also, just a side note, when the frog does start to peel, you shouldn't pick at it. Just let it drop off naturally. P.S. I know you stated buying Ziggy with a question mark, but it is still very misleading. You will lose subs if you do it too often. So that is such a great comment about the frog. That's something that we had no idea, and I feel a little bit better having now that I know that. And about the subs, I think that's true. You know, I think in the end, Sam and I have to make the best thumbnails that we know how, and if they seem misleading to you, it could be that we have different styles and that something that happens in YouTube but for but we decided we're just gonna stick with making the best thumbnails for our channel that we know how to make and somebody's probably not gonna be happy with them no matter what way we do it right so thank you very much for your comment and we're gonna end today's video don't forget to subscribe and click like and we'll see you tomorrow bye Voice bye bye
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.